This is my first Smith & Wesson I've ever bought. I purchased it a couple months ago at a Bass Pro Shops. It is a second model hand ejector, 32 Smith & Wesson. And I've been wanting one for a, you know, a very long time. Just the price is never right or they'd be too beat up. But this one is very nice. Only has one spot where the finish ain't so good. But other than that, it's a very nice gun. It shoots great. It's not very accurate, which I wouldn't expect it to be. These guns, you gotta shoot them on a target and see where if they're shooting laughs and high. And I haven't been making any shooting videos lately because I just haven't been shooting because this ammo shortage and everyone's price gouging. So I bought some brass made my own hollow points I'm 32 Smith and Wesson long here's my load data I went to a gun show here a couple months back and this guy had 50 rounds just laid around those I wanted a hundred bucks so I don't know about y'all I can't pay that so I've just been making my own ammo and I'm getting low on primers, so I might end up starting to reload those because I have been fooling around with it and done okay with it. But, um, it's a very nice gun, very tight. Very stiff springs in this gun. I don't know if y'all can see that. But I did polish it with flits because it's starting to kind of like corrode. And I will say that flits is very good polish. It's worth the money. What this gun needs is a set of pearl grip cell. Once I do find me a cell that I like, I'll throw them on here. And I believe this gun has been redone before by Smith & Wesson. Because it has a star in the serial number. Which I'm not going to show the whole number because, well... You guys know what's going on right now. But, uh, yeah, very nice gun. My grandfather had one. And it was one just like this, been blued, but it had the six inch barrel on it. I've been trying to get it off of him from years, but never would get rid of it. So I just decided to buy me one. Hope y'all have a good day, and uh, if y'all want to see reloading videos or how to make primers, y'all just comment that down below, and I will uh, get to working on making videos about it. Bye.